Spicing up your writing, mastering figurative language. Hello everyone. Welcome to our exciting new lesson on figurative language in descriptive writing. Today, we're going to delve into the world of metaphors, similes, personification and more to enhance our storytelling capabilities. This is going to be an incredibly powerful tool for you, particularly for adding depth and color to your writing. Let's get started. Figurative language involves using words or expressions in a way that differs from their literal interpretation. It adds color, creativity, and emotional depth to your writing. Common types of figurative language are similes, metaphors, personification, hyperbole, and idioms. By using figurative language, we can create more vivid, engaging, and impactful descriptions. Figurative language is a powerful tool that can transform your writing from simple and straightforward to vibrant and engaging. For example, rather than saying, the sky is blue, you could say, the sky is a canvas of cerulean, instantly making your description more vivid and engaging. Figurative language allows you to convey your message in a more creative, imaginative, and effective way, drawing your readers in and making your writing more memorable. Let's take a look at some examples of how you can use figurative language in your writing. Simile. This is a comparison using like or as. Instead of saying, she is happy, try, she is as happy as a clam. Metaphor. This is a direct comparison. Instead of, life is hard, how about, life is a roller coaster. Personification. This is giving human qualities to non-human entities. Instead of, the wind blew, how about, the wind whispered through the trees. Hyperbole. This is an over-exaggeration to emphasize a point. Instead of, I've told you a million times, try, I've told you countless times. Idiom. An idiom is a common expression understood for its figurative rather than literal meaning. Instead of saying, he's feeling sad, you might say, he's feeling down in the dumps. Remember, the key is to use these tools judiciously to add flavor and depth to your writing. That's it for today's lesson, folks. We hope this introduction to figurative language has given you some valuable tools to enhance your descriptive writing. Remember, the key to mastering figurative language is practice. So, go ahead and start adding some color to your writing. We can't wait to see what you create. Happy writing, everyone!